Welcome to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge, and I'm bringing you a new series, The Beginner's Guide to Crafting, or Manufacturing, or whatever you'd like to call it, because there's so many subcategories of manufacturing and crafting in the Entropia universe. It's going to take a full series, probably about 10 episodes, I'm thinking, but uh, we'll see how that goes, how we progress, but I'm going to do my best to give you a really good starting point for beginning your crafting manufacturing career in the Entropy universe. And it's so straightforward that I'm surprised no one has done this yet. But that's my whole plan, so let's get started. We're beginning here on Planet Calypso at the Twin Peaks area, because this is the area that's going to best illustrate the point that I need to make. You could do this anywhere um, on Planet Calypso, just going to a service center, but the technician and all of the things that we are going to need are inside the service center. And also, so many players who are going to begin crafting for the first time, or something that to that effect, are going to likely be here on Planet Calypso, and so that's my whole plan. So first thing we want to do is come to the technician and check out blueprints. If this is truly your first foray into manufacturing and crafting in the Entropy universe, you're going to want to buy every single blueprint that the technician has to offer. And that's only 21 peck. That's P-E-C worth of blueprints. 21 peck, you can make that in a day. Heck, you can make that in an hour. Buy every single one of these blueprints. Do not buy these off of the auction. The reason I say that is you will get gouged for these. All of these will at least be a ped, probably a lot more. And if they're only one pack in value to begin with, why would you pay more if you could just walk right over to the technician as opposed to the auction house? And the reason I say buy all of these blueprints is because of their utility on other planets. They will be important in getting blueprint drops on other planets and other areas. And that's why you see so many different things. There's, there's tools, there's attachments, there's weapons, there's armor, there's components, there's tailoring, you know, their vehicle blueprints. That's all, all gonna be important, but this is the most important blueprint of them all, the basic filters blueprint. And the reason I say that is it is going to help you gain skill rapidly if you don't have any already. It also has the most basic components that you can possibly find in the Entropy universe, which is Listerium and oil. You'll need to refine Listerium stones into ingots and crude oil into oil, but you can do that on any planet. And so the accessibility of, from this blueprint goes to every single planet and area in the Entropy universe. As always, I'm a big fan of the Wikipedia, the Entropia Wikipedia page. And here I have the basic filters blueprint pulled up. As you can see, it's going to do, there's a little bit of information here, but I think that's interesting to say that uh, from since 2017 or early 2018, this has been available from the technician, which is outstanding, uh, specifically on uh, planet Calypso as well as Monria, because Monria is a moon of Calypso. More on that later, but you're going to make five of these filters per success. That's not too bad. And it has a small amount of markup, 106 to 109 percent. As of the making of this video, that is the markup for these. So they actually, you can actually sell them and make a little bit of ped. But really what I want to show you here is what blueprints drop from this blueprint as you do manufacturing. And all I've done is sorted the, the table here to see the latest version update. And we've got some basic filters, drops from basic filters, basic bearings, basic sheet metal, basic sensor, you know, lots of basic screws, welding wire blueprint, uh, and the, ooh, even the explosive projectiles, recycle two blueprint. That's very rare, extremely rare, in fact. But what's important is all of these other blueprints are going to drop commonly from this blueprint as you go along and do your manufacturing with it. And that's important so that you don't have to pay, pay uh, auction house prices or shop prices or other players prices for the blueprints that are one pack blueprints. You can get them all just by doing some crafting manufacturing with this blueprint. Next most important part, where to find Listerium and crude oil exclusively if you're going to do your own mining and you're not going to buy off the auction house, which I fully recommend not buying from the auction house if you can help it. It's better to mine it because here at the Atlantis Archipelago, the only things you will find are crude oil and Listerium when you go mining here. 
I also don't want to forget the daily mission terminals here on Planet Calypso. You can pick up a daily manufacturing challenge once a day. You don't have to complete it. You can uh, abandon it, and the next day there will be a new, new challenge there. Many of these challenges, however, are going to be outside of your skill level if you're just beginning. So don't, don't worry about that. There are there are better missions on other planets for increasing your crafting and manufacturing skills, as well as tailoring and vehicle manufacturing, all of those things. Here on Planet Calypso, you're just going to get a couple of daily reward tokens for the completion of the daily manufacturing challenge and whatever skill gains you get from actually trying that, uh, trying out uh, that challenge. So it's not that great a reward, but I am going to show you in the next video where to go to get the biggest reward quickly. And I have a final little trick that I use, specifically when I'm on... Yeah, see, here's the global sounds coming around. That's my trick. I go to a place like Twin Peaks that I know many, many people are actually clicking on blueprints, manufacturing, crafting, all of those kinds of things. And getting the swirlies, I go there because I know that I'm going to get a slightly bit of an increase in whatever it is that I'm manufacturing. So I'm going to get better luck, let's say. That's probably the best way to put it. Because whatever's happening, whatever happens in the algorithm, it appears that when you're manufacturing in a place where people are pumping PED into a particular server, in this case, a particular location, there's a lot of globaling going on. And then that gives you a little tiny bit of luck. It gives you better results than you might normally get if you're just doing it by yourself in another location. So I always recommend doing that. Whenever you're going to do a lot of manufacturing of any kind, specifically the basic filters here, I've got 307 clicks worth, come to a place where lots of people are clicking on blueprints. And I guarantee you more often than not, you will have better, slightly better luck and your returns will be slightly better as well. Speaking of returns, when you first start out, it's going to be a challenge. There, It's going to be a costly endeavor because you don't have any skills. And so what you want to do is to just basically keep at it as long as you can as you, and you can afford to until you get these skills. When you first start, your skill gains are going to be big. Uh, and the next video, of course, I'm going to show you how to get even bigger skill gains from doing a couple of missions in a mission chain on Monria that will help you get to a point where you're not burning so much pet each and every time you click a blueprint. Because ultimately I want you to be a success doing this and I want you to be able to turn your crafting manufacturing career into something that's profitable for you. And I think I can show you how to do that. I certainly have done it. And I think now I've synthesized all of the knowledge that I have gained over the years watching videos and actually manufacturing so many different things and going to different planets and doing those missions and picking up blueprints that I'm able to get this down into a size a manageable size so you can actually see what's going to happen you know and you may be globaling just like the guy next to me here but I want to be able to convey all of this information in a few short videos and hopefully we can get there and get that done and here I'm just doing some clicks. Uh, we're up to, what, 16 or so. And one of the other things I want to show you is the symbols on the side. If you haven't done any kind of crafting or manufacturing, or if you've done a little what the symbols mean, and that little strange dusty symbol is a residue symbol, meaning you're getting some sort of residue. Less. It's, it's probably going to be shrapnel. Uh, you're going to get some sort of return on what is... If you don't get a success, uh, you're going to get some of that material back, which is great. Uh, that, that material is important. Obviously, the shrapnel you can use to convert into universal ammo, which I always recommend doing uh, in, in the long run, because it's really going to help you really uh, tremendously with that 100 point. Uh, for every 100 you turn in, you get 101. So, and, and every success here with the, the basic filters is going to give you five filters. And those filters are currently... Uh, markup on those filters is about 107 to 109 percent just depends uh, and you can sell them and you can make thousands of them and turn around and try to gain a little bit of your money back you're going to start out not being profitable i hate to say it but that's just reality of crafting but you're going to gain the skills quickly and that's the important part
one more thing I do want to show you is how that luck sometimes will materialize when you are doing clicks on your on your blueprint. Uh, for example, I just got 12.33 PED success. That's huge. That just turned this entire run into profitability. If you consider that I was doing 307 clicks at 5 peck per click, that's about 15 ped, a little more than 15 ped, and I just got 12.33 out of it. So that's why I say come to a place where people are globaling. You're going to get one of those in there, those 12 ped, or it's going to be 3 ped, or 6 ped, or something like that, depending on your skill level and the amount of clicks that you're doing. But it's really going to benefit you in the long run. It's going to keep you in the game. And your success is going to be different early on. It's not going to be as high as mine. It's 90.5 right now. Yours is going to be more like 75% success rate. And consider this. A near success is considered a success for success rate when you're clicking these blueprints. So if you're trying to figure that out, anything, only failures count as non-successes. Near success and success is they are the same. That's considered success because you're getting something back and that's okay. So you're set to begin. You've got your basic filters blueprint that you can take to any planet and craft using the local Listerium and crude oil and you're good to go. You can continue to increase the quality rating on that, which I'm going to get into in a later video. And you can also increase your skills and hopefully you'll be able to pop a little bit of a uh, a little bit of profit every once in a while out of your blueprint, as well as doing missions on other planets utilizing that particular blueprint. Now I'm certain somebody's going to say, hey Sturge, why didn't you mention Explosive Projectiles Blueprint 1? And the reason for that is it's, it's just inaccessible. Uh, I can't confirm one way or another whether it still drops or not, and trying to buy even low quality, quality rating EP1, Explosive Projectiles 1 Blueprint, off the auction house is prohibitive for new crafters and new players, you know, for that matter. A 100 quality rating and you're going to pay 90 ped for it. And that just, well, that's great for having 95% success. Right now you need skills and the only way I think you're going to be able to do that realistically and not burn a lot of ped is to actually start with the basic filters blueprint that's my recommendation plus you can take it anywhere and you might as well own the blueprint anyway because it's going to be invaluable for other blueprint drops down the road let's wrap it up here i appreciate everyone watching and uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe hit the like button or dislike button but if you hit either of those buttons like or dislike leave a comment let me know what you're thinking and i will always respond that's my style so we're off to a good start here with the new crafting series. I'm really excited about this. So any feedback you can give me is welcome. This is Sturge signing off. Ciao for now.